have to drop the ball sometime on some things. Um, say hi. And it makes me happy. Uh, <laughs> makes me so happy. It is actually midnight here right now. Kind of talking about where um, I'm at and everything. So I really wanted to share it even though it's not perfect. Oh, it's Monday and it's been actually a while since you've probably heard from me I have been pretty religiously carrying around this camera and trying to film and I have filmed a lot of like snippets of my mind but um, unfortunately, editing and posting has been an entirely different story. Hey everyone, so <laughs> I totally started filming earlier and of course being in my rush to get to lab, I just like stopped filming in the middle of it. Um, but anyways, I've had a rough couple of weeks, um, gotten really busy with school and been really struggling to keep up. Um, having grad school experience before I thought had prepared me better for this kind of busy, but there's definitely some major differences, which to be fair, when I talked to my mentor in master's program, she like did tell me about this and kind of warn me that there was going to be these differences and the intensity would be different. Um, so I guess I was aware of it in that respect. Um, I just don't think I could have anticipated how truly busy I've become in the last month. Um, for me right now, it's not just like a time management thing. It's also a priority management. Uh, I can't remember if the video that I filmed this in got put out, but I know in one of my videos I mentioned that I it's like the analogy, and I can't remember who said it. I'll have to look it up and see if I can put it in the description, but somebody said this analogy that you are basically like juggling a bunch of balls and you have to 
know which ones are glass and which ones, if you drop them, they're going to shatter. Um, and which ones, if you drop them, they can bounce right back. Um, and also, and so like being willing to like drop the ball, um, and knowing if it's going to shatter, is that okay? Uh, so for me, I mean, some things are going to always be a priority, like my children in my relationship. And, um, then it comes to all the other things that I have to do in grad school. Hi everyone. So it's Tuesday and being back on track with this whole vlogging thing, I wanted to let you know how my day was going. Um, I got a messy. I don't know what that is. Hey everyone. Uh, it's Tuesday. And I just got home from the lab and I have been in lab since 8 a.m. this morning and it makes me happy. Uh, <laughs> makes me so happy. I wish I could just stay in lab. Um, but today I got to make some solutions. I did some plating and transformations, a lot of microbiology techniques. Um, yeah, so it was a very successful morning in lab. I also was able to attend my lecture virtually, like in between doing stuff in lab, which I will say is like the one perk of online learning is the ability to be in lab, have something be running and just open my laptop and be in lecture. And then when lecture's done, I'm right there in lab. I do like that. Um, and I do like that flexibility. It, paying attention, eh, let's be honest. I did really well today actually because I told myself I was going to and I took notes. Um, so today was good. Other days have been not so good, but I'm working on that. But yeah, and now I am making myself a quick lunch at 2.30 in the afternoon because I forgot to bring something to lab. And then I'm going to teach at three, so another busy day. But I thought I'd just give you all a quick update about how my day is going because it's been a busy one. And uh, I probably won't talk to you anymore today. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.
It's Wednesday night and I had a very good, very productive day. Um, Max? Say hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hi. Um, but I had a busy morning. I taught and I went to our lab meeting and then a seminar where my PI for the semester actually presented. Um, which was really cool to get to see and it was really cool to see her full presentation because I have only seen like a shorter pitch um, from her so that was really cool to see and it was really exciting being that I'm considering joining her lab full time after this rotation sometime so it was exciting to see that and then I was in the lab the rest of the afternoon but I had a really productive day in lab and I'm feeling a lot better with like time management right now and this evening I was able to work and I got some students assignments graded and I got some of my own stuff done so I'm feeling pretty good tonight a much better improvement from last week I'm going to try and stay on track with that though so I'm gonna get back to work and I will talk to you all again tomorrow <laughs> It is actually midnight here right now and I wanted to give you a quick update something that I know isn't gonna take me a long time to edit so I can get it posted because I know I haven't posted it in a few weeks now um, but I feel like I've said this a whole bunch of times because I've tried to keep creating videos so I've like repeated myself but basically what's going on is that the last two weeks I have been unbelievably busy. Uh, I just last weekend had a biochem exam that was brutal <laughs> and prepping for that was brutal. Um, and I've been really busy uh, with my other class. I had a project due and I have a presentation. And then there's uh, been research. I've started working on my own individually in the lab, all done with training for this project, which is really exciting. Um, I've been like really excited to get started. So I've just kind of hit the ground running, um, <laughs> which is great, but it also means that like I've had to try and work other things around in my schedule. And then TAing's been a little rough lately. It's been a lot of prep work, a lot of grading. Um, so it's been just overall a really busy two weeks. And like unfortunately, 
I had to like let go of something for a little while and that ended up being this um, channel more or less because editing still takes me forever. I am still learning a lot about it and I'm still like trying to get a process down. So like the editing portion just takes me forever. Um, which is why I was hoping to do this quick video that I can not have to edit a lot and get posted to give you all an update. Um, yeah, so I've just been really busy. This week has been much better because after having my biochem exam completed, I was able to kind of like reset, refocus, um, spend some time on some priorities that I had been neglecting, like my other class project and some TA grading and some things like that. Uh, so that was really good. And yeah, now I'm just up tonight. Uh, I kind of took the night off. It's been just, it was just me and the kiddos tonight. So I took the night off, spent some quality time with them, helped my son with his kindergarten homework. And, uh, and then I just kind of been hanging out and kind of taking like a self-care day, night. Um, I had a really busy day, so like a self-care night, which I'm glad I did. And I don't even feel stressed out about it. Maybe tomorrow when I realize like everything I still have on my to-do list, I'll feel stressed out about it. But right now, I'm feeling good. <laughs> oh, but before I forget, I have to share... A couple things with you so one I started an Instagram account to go along with this channel and let me tell you how much I have been loving like the science Instagram PhD student Instagram community it's been so much fun to follow people and see like what they're doing in their research labs or what they're doing in their PhD um, outside of like science and it's just been so incredibly fun. Like I have been spending way more time on Instagram than any other social media platform. Um, and it's something that like uplifts me instead of like Facebook was kind of bringing me down because of politics and opinions and COVID and everything that was just on it and going on. Um, but like this Instagram has been really lifting me up. So you all should go follow me on Instagram and follow all the amazing science PhD people because um, there's a lot of them. It's fantastic. Uh, just throwing that out there. And then the other thing, funny story about lab today. So in lab today, I made a really silly mistake. Um, I made a gel for gel electrophoresis and I made it wrong. Um, and I didn't realize until after we ran the gel and the image looked really funky and I was trying to like think like, why is this looking funky? And then it kind of clicked in my brain. Oh my gosh, I made that wrong. And then like all these thoughts went through my mind about like how silly of a mistake it was and that I couldn't believe I'd done it and then like oh my gosh do I tell my PI like she's gonna think I'm so stupid for making this mistake that's such a basic mistake but then I realized that like one it's okay to own up to mistakes even if you think they're um like silly it's totally okay to own up to them um it's important to recognize and to like document that you made a mistake also because it's scientific research and it's really important to document those things and like three I really don't think that she's gonna like think I'm stupid or anything for it because we all make mistakes um we've all done little things so yeah it just gave me like more confidence in myself to be like okay I can own up to this mistake and I can tell you I won't make this mistake again. I'm sure I'll make other mistakes because it happens, but this is one I won't forget for a while because it was kind of silly. But 
but since it's now after midnight and I am going to try and get some sleep tonight, I will say goodnight. Uh, I just wanted to give you all a quick update, so fingers crossed that I'll actually get this posted tomorrow and you'll actually get to see something from me tomorrow. Um, but let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to hearing anything from me, any specific videos. I still have all these video ideas and I'm just hoping that I can still continue to like work through them and produce content for you all. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye. taking a little bit of my free time to edit a new video. Uh, I'm actually going to get a week in the life vlog out this week and it's for this week. Miracle. Um, it's not exactly like pretty, I guess, in general, but I felt really bad about not getting anything out and I filmed like a lot of good conversation this week, kind of giving you an update of what's going on and yeah, kind of talking about where mm, I'm at and everything. So I really wanted to share it even though it's not perfect <laughs> and it's a little rough, but I hope that you enjoy it anyways. And if you've gotten to this point in the video, because this is actually going in that video, so if you've gotten to this point, then thank you for watching all of my ramblings from the week. Uh, it's Friday. I am so excited about that. So excited to begin down to the end of the week. I had a really, really good week overall. Um, last weekend was rough. I know I've talked about that. So I won't talk about it anymore, but this week in general has been really great. And today I had a really good one-on-one -on -one with my PI this morning. Uh, and it was really great because we talked about like what's going on in the research lab, where I could go with it because I'm going to finish my rotation project uh, about a month ahead of schedule, which I'm excited about because I get to do some even more analysis get to move into some more biochemistry techniques um, and I'm really excited about doing some I get to kind of choose which direction I want to take also she's letting me do some research and choose like which area I'm more interested in so that's really cool giving myself some autonomy or rather she's giving me some autonomy um, and yeah so that was exciting about research and I had office hours today. My students, I've had quite a few students come to office hours, which was really exciting. I miss like in-person office hours so much. Um, and it's not the same, but it's just really nice that students are like trying and they're really taking the time to come ask questions and engaging. And I love to see it. Um, so way to go students so it's been a good a good day overall i was in lab and my day is about to come to an end soon here i've got another hour before the kids come home i'm kind of in between stuff right now i'm just was editing the video and 
I also have, I want to run through my molecular bio presentation that I'm giving on Monday. I've been running through it once, at least once a day since last Monday. So I feel really good about it and my, my last couple run throughs have been really good and really smooth um, and I'm feeling really good about it and I have until Monday when I give it to run through and my group is meeting um, tomorrow, Saturday to go over it and run through it as a group, which is good. So everything, all things considered, it hasn't been bad. This week's been good. And yeah, but if you've watched this whole video, thank you because I know there was a lot of me talking and kind of about a lot of the same things uh, that I just wanted to get out there. But until next week, I'll see you all later. Have a good weekend.